So since we're leaving Mexico in a week, I have one question for you guys and I want you to answer it down below because we've had a lot of comments, especially on our Mexico City video, about us referring to ourselves as digital nomads and other people who are living in Mexico as expats. And a lot, it feels like a lot of Mexicans are correcting us saying no, they're actually immigrants and it seems to be like offensive maybe. I'm not sure, that's the tone that I'm getting. And I genuinely just want to know, like, first of all, what the difference is. To me, an expat is, I mean, it means expatriate, so somebody who used to live in one country and moved to another. But generally, we call people expats when they, like, retire in Bali or Thailand or something, and then they spend a few years there and maybe they come home. A digital nomad is completely different. It's somebody who moves around a lot. And to me, an immigrant is somebody who's migrating to a country forever. Like you are going there to get residency, then you get citizenship, you have kids there, you buy a house, you get a job, like your generations will be there forever. You're an immigrant. My grandparents on both sides are immigrants. Uh, so I come from an immigrant family. Is, is it an offensive thing to say expat? instead of immigrant, let us know down below. Like, I genuinely would like to know the answer to this because we haven't heard it anywhere else except for Mexico City. And we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. We just genuinely want to know. If we're wrong, we'll correct it. Yeah. I'm just taking Bear for our morning run. I'm letting Mandy sleep in today. We did a Temezcal ceremony last night, which the video is probably posted by now. You can check it out. It was intense, man. I don't know if, what are you doing? I don't know if different Temezcal ceremonies offer different practices, but this one, picture the hottest sauna you've ever been to. And we were there for about, six hours all up filming and watching them set up doing everything the actual ceremony itself lasted about two hours we were in there so it's split up into sort of four sessions and it gets intensely hot and um, there's a lot of chanting anyway you can watch the latest video if you haven't already but it really drained us Mandy got up a few times in the middle of the night just to drink water because we're so dehydrated Obviously, we sweat so much. I probably lost like five kilos. Bear's actually been really sick for the last week. He's just gotten better the last couple of days. Started with an eye infection. We had the vet come around like four days in a row because he had an eye infection. We got him some eye drops for that. And I don't know if it was because his immune system was down or just coincidence, but he got like a stomach bug straight after that. He was up all night throwing up, diarrhea, there was blood. That's when we started getting really scared. The vet came around again and gave him antibiotics and uh, he did a blood test and he's all clear. He thinks he just maybe ate something bad or picked up something off the ground. So uh, it wasn't looking good there for a few days, but he's back to his normal self. He's, he's eating again. He's back to good old bear, which is great. We were really nervous for a while. Stay there. 
Okay, so Bear got a scratch on his cornea. That was the first thing that set him off before when we were sending him to the vet. And then all the other stuff when he ate something happened after, so it's been really fun. You know, three different things we need to put in his eye, but he's actually starting to like it. <laughs> Mindy? There you go. There you go. I think he knows it feels. He likes it. Makes it. Better. <laughs> and he gets so excited afterwards, too. <laughs> yeah. See, he even puts his head perfect. There you go. There you go. One more. There it is. Massage, massage. Okay, you did it! Well done. Yay! You did it! Yay! You finished? Yeah, yeah, I'm so ready. How are you feeling, Swan? I'm so dehydrated. We did the Temezcal last night. If you haven't watched the video, we'll link it above. Um, yeah, I'm really dehydrated, and I think I slept nearly 12 hours last night. Yeah, you, we got home at about 8.30, 9 o'clock, and um, you went straight to sleep. <laughs> uh, I got back from my run at about 8 o'clock. You was still asleep, so I just went up to the rooftop for a bit. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like nearly 9 o'clock now. <laughs> no, I was literally like falling asleep as I was eating dinner last night. <laughs> yeah. I woke up this morning felt feeling like I had just Almost like a hangover. Played a game of football or yeah. basketball or something. to have fresh water out of the tap again. All right, we're just gonna take Bear for a walk while we do some errands. We're gonna go, we'll go Barber, then H&M, then the grocery store, then we're gonna go to Home Depot. Gotta get ready to pack up all of our things and get out of here. Yeah, and we uh, we have some extra stuff to bring, so we're just gonna go buy like a box from Home Depot and use that for our additional luggage. And I need a haircut because this hair's getting a little out of control. But I'm gonna leave it, leave the mullet. What do you reckon? Yeah, keep the mullet. Tell him not to touch the back. So we bought all this stuff thinking that we were gonna be moving into a van here in Mexico. So I got I, just like the necessities for us to be able to get started in the van and then that fell through. So now we gotta bring all that stuff with us to Canada. <laughs> Spewing. Oh well.
Probably be so not good though. I don't want that. This whiskey with orange twist is the best whiskey I've ever had. But it's more expensive than the regular one. Which one do I get? Orange. It's pretty good. Still only twelve dollars. <laughs> oh, we're just eating meat and potatoes this week, huh? Yeah. It's pretty boring, but we're always over it. Like when we know we're leaving, I always am just like I'm over cooking. I'm over everything, and I'm First ready to. Leave. Making any different meals? Neither. Stand out in the sun waiting for a taxi. Charles right there. Yeah, but they'll charge us like 250. 150, no charges. No. Oh, this lemonade is probably our favorite drink that we found here. It's got CBD in it, supposedly. I don't know if there's really any way to check, but. Tastes good. Tastes delicious. <laughs> it makes you feel good. Yeah. It's all four of these. It's my favorite health food store. It's called Bio Natural. This is where I get all my incense and everything as well, and all my natural beauty products. So we just met some subscribers in the shopping center that live in Akamel and they were saying they were thankful that we made the video that we did about it. That apparently there's a few lies being told about how many people are actually coming to the area. They advertise that only 200 people are allowed there a day to preserve the turtles. Is that what they said? Yeah. Ha! And um... <laughs> there's like 2,000 there. There's there. like two, yeah. Way, way more than that and apparently the turtles are getting like tumors and stuff from the stress of too many tourists coming so maybe keep that in mind if you're wanting to travel to Akamel um, that's really really sad but um, especially for people that are living there to like be thankful that we kind of were honest about our experience there just something to keep in mind <laughs> I'm too stubborn. Alright, our last errand for the day, which I really don't want to do because it's ridiculous. But we're catching, catching a taxi out to Home Depot, which is probably going to cost us like 20 bucks to buy one cardboard box. <laughs> to put all our camping stuff and all of Bear's like, bed and, and like we have a a doona and stuff. But I just, it's the only way to do it. You can't order one box online. No. I'm not buying a suitcase. I don't, I'm, we don't want to rebuy that stuff and <laughs> it sucks so bad. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Interesting to see what Home Depot looks like in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the same. Well, the first taxi didn't work out well. We said Home Depot and he just showed me a bag full of food and said, I'm only going downtown, I have to deliver this. Like, mate, are you an Uber driver or are you a fucking taxi driver? What's going on here? Three taxis drove past while we're in there. Dude, <laughs> come on. Yes. Guess we haven't really been in a store like this in like a year and a half. No. Kind of miss we, it. we have to hurry because the taxi driver's waiting for us, but I feel at home. <laughs> I was just gonna ask someone for help and I don't think they work here. <laughs> Moving boxes. And tape. Um, like, what? 
section of it over there. Okay, they don't have moving boxes, even though some guy on Facebook says that he bought one here for five dollars and they don't have them. <laughs> it's the last time I ever trust some guy on Facebook. Um, now we gotta find something else to put all our stuff in. Aha! Is that fit? Yeah, that one. That's the lid. It's so ugly. Can you see the lid? Yeah. So, why don't any of the lids work? Does it not work? No. We told our old mate we'd be five minutes. Do we just, what do we do? Okay, we found some tape, and right next to the tape, all these boxes are not being used. <laughs> so got a free box. I can need that. Yeah. Okay. We did it. We just got in the toy. Honey. And the whole problem is that we can't fit all these toys. Get the other one. Get the Get other the one. Third one. Bear, come on. Grab that one. He can do three. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Happy bear. It's not pretty, but. I don't give a shit if it's pretty, just as long as it gets on the flight. <laughs> Not too big, is it? Oversized. Do you think it's too big? We should have just grabbed both of the ones that we had in our hands. Why didn't we? I've seen bigger boxes. Come off the conveyor belt. And pillows, but they're not that important. We, we can leave the pillows behind. I need to see what the size restriction is. Oh my god. Yeah, everything's gonna fit in there if the box isn't too big. So. Oh, I should look it up. Oh, I might have to make another trip to Walmart. <laughs> I think it'll be alright.